having money shared with me, having a relationship with money is about knowing that um, it's a co-creative partnership, right? Mm -hmm. So the same way that source likes to expand and the universe likes to expand, uh, money as an aspect of source consciousness also wants to expand. So when you go spend something, spending is expansion, right? Mm -hmm. Spending is, oh, when I spend this, I'm getting something in return that's going to enhance my life. And then the energetic currency, the money that I'm giving to what whoever it is or whatever it is, they're also going to expand from this exchange as well. Mm -hmm. And money loves that exchange. Money is really sort of like, so how we are incarnated as indiv individualized people, money is incarnated as a flow. Mm -hmm. It's just energetic kind of like flow and exchange but it likes to move around. And so you build mm -hmm. that relationship with money by knowing, oh, you want to be in my bank. You want to be in my wallet. You want to mm -hmm. be in my pocket. You want to be with me doing fun shit, spending money, enjoying all of the beautiful abundance that this reality has to offer. Yep. And you stop feeling bad because really what it is, is there's so many deep subconscious beliefs that we have about money about yes. money being the root of all evil no actually the lack of money the lack poverty is the root of all evil because if for example the thing but it yeah is. <laughs> because with people never like i can't afford this not always correct people when i like you can't afford it it's just not a financial priority at that moment even if mm -hmm. you don't have the money in your account of course i'm not like go swipe your card and if you, if, you, if you don't have the money, you will have it at that moment. I mean, shit depends on the manifestation. You, you probably could. Let me, let, me, let me not say that. But if you can't afford something genuinely, you can just say it's not a financial priority because financial priority, because what you're doing is you're tricking your personal matrix to say, ah, OK, I can't afford this, mm -hmm. even though the physical currency isn't in my account then something pops up in your reality where you actually can afford it just because you did that little little trick right right tricking your mind to see how you're already abundant and mm -hmm. a great example i always use is somebody can say well i only have five dollars like there's nothing i can buy with five dollars i'm so broke etc cetera, etc cetera. but you mm -hmm. can switch your consciousness to say there are five different things that i could buy that cost one dollar and you could focus on that as a source of abundance and totally shift your vibration be and then become an energetic match for more um abundance to flow into your reality so it's it's all about getting your mind to see how you are actually already abundant Aaron Lyons are you pretty much saying that gratitude is the key to everything <laughs> it sounds that like you are it. that is it that is it it's so simple right it's it's literally so simple. It's a fucking it's cheat so code, bro. It's simple. a fucking cheat code. Even and, go on, no, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, sorry. So to clarify on gratitude, it's not that there's something outside of yourself that you need to give thanks to. That's not what mm -hmm. gratitude is. Gratitude mm -hmm. is not source saying, "Oh, I need your worship. I need your praise." Thank you, I source, need so praise. much. That's not. That's not exactly. what it is. Exactly. God likes nothing, so it needs absolutely nothing from you. Gratitude is just a frequency of recognizing what's already present. Mm -hmm. In gratitude, you can't focus on what you don't have. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. And so you align your frequency with the frequency of source, which is just pure abundance because source is everywhere at the same time. So it literally is everything. It is abundance itself. <laughs> So for those, okay, <laughs> we, 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 hey, we, 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 we diving deep in this shit. So if somebody said, what do you, what do you mean that when you express gratitude, you're not expressing it to God, the creator, it's because you are God, the creator. Yes. Everyone, yes. this microphone is source, this, <laughs> you know, everything is source at this point. We don't, we didn't come here. And think about it. If you if you if you think about it like this, and I'm not mocking any anybody's belief, but I, I just find this funny. You are ultimately worshiping yourself if you go to church. When you pretty much pretty much like this the, the at the at the core of everything, you aspect praising, of yourself, yeah, the aspect of yourself, where it's like, okay, actually, I know I'm the creator, and I know you're the creator, and we're sharing this space right now 
as the creator, which is fucking beautiful, man. Just fucking beautiful. And to give people more clarity, if if you're someone that comes from more of a religious background and you're just now, you know, getting into your spiritual awakening, Mm -hmm. you know, why is it that we say that you are the creator and that you are source? Because, okay, I'm not source right now in its totality. I'm I'm a a manifested aspect of source as all of you are, as all things are, but in my pure state, when I'm done with this incarnation, when I rejoin with source energy, that is that is my highest self. That is all of our highest self, our higher selves. Our higher self is literally source. And right now we're having an individualized experience, but you were made in the image and likeliness of God. Yeah. You contain everything that source contains because source created you out of its own energy. You are it, it is you. There is literally no separation. You're preaching on this Sunday.